Welcome to Floyd Zadkovich's video series. I'm coming to you from London. I'm actually at St. Catherine Docks, which is very close to the Tower of London, if you know where that is. Uh, it's a secluded, tucked away place, um, very well known to the shipping industry. Now I'm over here for London International Shipping Week 2017. And for those of you who couldn't make it over to, to London for the event, I thought to give you a, a bit of a flavour of what's been discussed. What are, what are some of the, the hot issues and topics of relevance? And I'm going to post on our website a, a number of videos dealing with some of these topics uh, that I think may be of interest to you. But in this first video, uh, this introduction, I, I wanted to really highlight um, the, the, the buzz or the, the, the key issue that just keeps coming up and uh, up and up in many of the seminars, and that is technology, the digitalization of uh, the maritime industry and how the maritime industry might be disrupted by te technological advancements. So we had um, an interesting seminar by the Ship Owners Club, a, a P&I club that specializes in um, small craft and um, and specialist vessels. And uh, they put, put on a, a thought-provoking seminar really highlighting how, how disruption um, may come into this industry and how it already is and what the, what the future holds for maritime professionals. And one of the key issues identified was to ensure that new participants that are coming into the industry um, that they draw upon the experience that has gone before and um, in moving this industry forward and disrupting it um, that we, we, we take with it a lot of that valuable experience from seafarers who have been on, on the, um, the, the, the seas for, for many years and I think looking forward a, a lot of the, um, the future jobs that might be out there are going to be around computer programming, setting the, the algorithms, and uh, working through the technology that's going to increasingly um, come onto the ships more and more. Um, the traditional jobs, um, the seafaring jobs are, are going to be there, especially for the foreseeable future, but um, moving uh, more into the long-term future, there's, there's going to be um, man, uh, unmanned vessels, autonomous vessels, and vessels that can be controlled from ashore, and, uh, but it's, it's really driving um, a lot of the, the cutting-edge developments in the maritime industry. Uh, one, of the, um, one of the other topics that came out of the Ship Owners Club presentation was that um, we are seeing cargo interests and ship owners increasingly um, working cooperatively on um, electronic platforms and that it may be in the interests of both sides of, 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 um, of, of trade, both the carriers and, and, and the shippers, to devise systems which um, eliminate a lot of the friction and, and, the, and the costs involved in doing business. And that ultimately, to the extent it's possible, that uh, cooperation through technology is, is a positive thing. Well, from that stimulating presentation, I then went to the UK P&I Club's um, launch of Risk Ahoy, um, and they surprised the audience. It was a big reveal. The club launched a new game, of all things. Um, uh, gamification is here in the maritime industry, and it, was, it, well, it is a, a new game which is launched um, targeting seafarers and, and really looking to, um, to teach seafarers certain issues and to ask them questions and to build up their knowledge in an interactive, interesting um, and stimulating format, as well as having uh, you know, a, game, a game element as well to, to, to deal with some of the downtime at sea. Now you can find the game on, on the App Store and Play Store, it's already been launched and uh, the, the club made a point of um, emphasizing that the questions in the game can be adapted, they can be added to, more questions will come into the system as time goes on. And I think it's a really exciting project that they've worked on. So well done to the UK P&I Club. Uh, so both of those seminars, the ship owners presen presentation and also the UK club presentation is, 
is showing how the shipping industry is looking ahead. It, it's not got its head in the sand, um, wondering you know what's going to happen next. They, they are very much looking to the future. They're looking at the digital world. They're looking at what opportunities there may be and how to move forward um, in, in this this uh, this new world. So. Um, that's just a flavor, one of the, the key aspects that just is going to come through for the rest of this week uh, here in, in London International Shipping Week. I hope you enjoy our coverage and there are going to be some more videos giving you a, an insight as to some of the, uh, the legal issues that are being discussed in the, in the shipping industry. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you very much.